Time seems to slow. The water moves lazily back and forth. All sound is drowned out by the gusty wind. You fill your lungs. Close your eyes. Body straight, ready to hit the water. Uh-oh. What? Red flashes in your visor. Oh, God. No! Oh, God! Welcome to Lydia's Labyrinth. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if not, I hope I make your day a little bit better. If you're new here, hi, I'm Voya. I play a variety of games. If you ever want me to play something, please don't hesitate to ask. And it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. <laughs> and if you enjoy this video, please like the video. Now, I was asked by the creator to play this game, and as soon as I saw the character with heterochromia eyes, I was like, yes, I'm in there. So, to refresh my brain on um, what I'm getting into, I'm going to remind myself of the endings because, as you see, the endings, there are five endings. Do not click. Why? Why not want me click? Oh, wait. Is this an ending? No. Oh, no. Did I, did I spoil? Okay. I, I, I go back. Hold on. Let me go back. I thought... I th my brain was like it's gonna be a jump scare <laughs> but then the screen went black and I was like oh no it's gonna be an ending so I I'll wait I'll wait to click on that and how many de oh my god there are 29 deaths watch me get about 20 of them <laughs> excuse me also happy spooky month uh so I'm gonna my goal in this I am going to go for all the endings right i'm not gonna try to go for the all the deaths if i get all the deaths that's cool that's awesome but i'm gonna try to go for all the endings and not all the deaths so with all that being said let's get started i'm sorry this the my intro was so long i i just be rambling on <laughs> and today is a coffee day i needed coffee so freaking bad now if it comes comes up too long i'm gonna break it up in parts because it seems like the longer the videos are the more problems I have with editing the video and I don't want you guys to deal with that so <clears throat> if it comes up to like 30 minutes I'll break it into parts but that doesn't mean I'm not going to finish the game I'm just going to have like double uploads or dang it I did it again I keep doing this thing with OBS where it opens it up like extru extremely excuse me big okay everything's fixed but yeah if it comes up to 30 minutes then I'll stop and then we'll do the next part and next part because you know when I'm reading and stuff I'm rambling on as you can see I've been rambling for two minutes now well two minutes and 32 seconds let's keep let's go ahead bad luck can't last forever okay hey you should totally enter this contest I saw you today for a free holiday like a uh, vacation a vacay awesome I, I definitely I need a vacation here let me sign you up. Just listen to this. Okay. Win an all expenses paid trip to a real life castle. Oh. Okay. Filled with hundreds of years worth of history in every stone. Okay. You will be greeted by your very own personal driver at the airport. Why has he got a bag on his head? Or do I have a bag on my head? <laughs> this is me I'm getting kidnapped aren't I and chauffeured in style to your final destination <sighs> I don't think this is a this isn't a vacation is it this is a forever home far away from the frantic stresses of the city a remote isolated mansion just off the peaceful coast However, you will still be furnished with the latest in technology and entertainment. Hold still, you. Okay. I, I... Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, hello? We just started. Relax, okay? 
Once there, you will be escorted in luxurious accommodations. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm seeing otherwise. Down ye go, chum. Where you can rest assured that your every need will be personally overseen by the mistress of the estate. What have you got to lose? Oh my, the lightning scared me. Hello, darling. Aren't you just precious in your little jumpsuit and accommodation visor? What? Hush, my dearest. I can't tell you how enraptured I am to have you visit my humble abode once more. What? What is she talking about? I've never been in a hellhole like this before. Getting you here was no easy feat, but only the best will do for my adoring public darling. And now that I have you, well, I'm almost giddy. <laughs> um, who are you? I mean, I think we know her name already as it is, but who are you? Where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I will be your host for what is likely to be the rest of your pathetic mortal life. I am the ruler of the night, the mistress of the maze. Lady Von Mercia, I hope I said her name right, and true heiress of the Dracul throne. Okay. All right. Is he your father? Is he your uncle? Like, cool. I mean, Dra Dracula's cool, I guess. But enough about me, my delicious morsel. Back to the business at hand. What am I doing here? Ah, uh, my beautiful sacrifice. Allow me to illuminate you about your unfortunate predicament. I shall be your mistress of ceremony, as you, my sweetland, have been chosen to be the participant in the premier attraction of the night court. Oh, God. Lydia's Labyrinth. A wonderful, cruel gala of wickedness where each year we test that pathetic, clingy <laughs> attachment mortal have to life. <laughs> Mortals have to life. No matter how insignificant they are. <laughs> you know, I thought you were super cute when I first saw you, and now you terrify me. And that's where you come in, my darling. You see, we always find a number of souls whose impact upon the world has been so profoundly minuscule that simply no one would miss them if they were plucked from existence. But you, my suckling pet, you are special. I have been searching for a spectacle such as yourself for a long, long time. So, you are going to be running the labyrinth all by your lonesome so that I can give you my complete undivided attention. Huh? Okay. Okay. The oh-so-charming headset you have been adored with allows me to communicate with you no matter where you are, as well as letting the public view your progress through my little emporium of conundrum. Those watches from the comfort of their devious layers should be seeing the mortal's progress on the map on the left of the screen, okay? Our poor prey here will have no such luxury and will have to blindly navigate their way to the end of our maze with only their puny wits to guide them. Why a maze? Oh my God, I'm so bad with puzzles. I mean, I can be really good with certain puzzles, but I can be really bad with puzzles. Mazes are probably the worst. However, if they can somehow solve our little brain teasers, they might just find some useful items or clues. 
a little something to add a precious sliver of hope to their escape. Do you think they can survive, or will they fall prey to one of our devilish traps? My fiendish friends, it's time to place your bets. Now, my delicious morsel. Are you ready to play? Um, what's in it for me? Honestly, isn't entertaining me enough? No? Well, let's just say it could be a treasure or freedom or something more. Carnal, perhaps? We'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, God. But... On with the show, my dear. Your job is to find your way through the labyrinth to me. I will be eagerly awaiting you at the exit with your final reward. <laughs> Why amaze? You could have had me saw, uh, problem solve words and I would have been happy. I would have been happy with that. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Get it together, Voya. <sighs> Face slap. We got this. Do try not to die too early. We wouldn't want to disappoint our viewers now, would we? So, to help you, I've been terribly generous and instructed my minions to scatter some useful tidbits around to give you a fair shake of it. I see one of them right now, right there in front of you. Honestly, when I said throw them about the maze, I didn't mean in the bloody first room, you idiot. Imbecile. Get out of my sight. <clears throat> no, wait. I have a better idea. You stay there until I'm finished talking to our guest. Apologies, darling. It is so hard to enslave good help these days. It looks like the suitcase has been left for you. What would you like to do? Um. Uh. Inspect it closely? So suspicious, darling. Wouldn't hurt you so early. I like to have my fun first. <laughs> okay. It looks like an old fashioned suitcase with two latches and a handle on top. It doesn't appear to be any moving parts or hidden objects or barbs. You press your ears close, but don't hear anything within. It just seems to be a normal suitcase. Okay. Uh, we already inspected, so let's open the suitcase, I guess. What a greedy little piggy you are. Just driving right in with your grubby mitts. Look, I inspected it. I didn't hear anything, okay? The only thing else I could have done is shook it a little bit. The case opened easily with a click. Inside, you find a fold of piece of paper held down by a carved dagger. Okay, I got a dagger. Inspect the knife. You gingerly pick up the knife, feeling its reassuring weight in your hand. Sorry, <coughs> I try not to cough. It has a short curved blade, about the length of your index finger. You guess that it might have once been used as part of some ancient ceremony as it doesn't seem very practical for a weapon. Maybe it's a, a letter opener. It might be some kind of old ancient letter opener. The glided hilt is adored with red sparkling jewels and only supported your theory that it was more of a blade of station <laughs> rather than a device of defense. You peer closer at the blade turning it slowly to try to catch what little light there is available. You notice a heavy worn down hallmark on the crown of the metal. Thinking it better than nothing, you put the knife in your pocket. Uh, inspect the note. You unfold the slightly crumbled piece of paper. The writing is done in a hastily scrawl as if the writer feared discovery while scribbling. It reads, my mistress awaits in the northernmost point of the labyrinth. However, I caution you that the direct route is not necessarily the safest. I wish thee luck that was not afforded me. 
Huh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Is this a note that is possibly by one of her slaves? Hmm. Leave. You close up the box and get back to your feet. You step away and turn your attention towards the door of your cell. You hold your breath as you reach for the handle and breathe out slowly. The door pulls open with no resistance, revealing a tunnel beyond. All right, let's get started on this freaking maze. Oh man, no, I can't do it. It's, it's too dark. It's too dark. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't do well with scary games. I don't do well with horror. And that's... And there's somebody standing there. No, 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 no. Boya, zoom in. That is a person standing there. I don't care what anybody says. That looks like something there. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. It takes a moment for your eyes to adjust to the new light. Dust dances in the air around you. The tunnel leads off to what you think of as north. Immediate darkness stretches before you, but you can see a small glimmer of light in the distance. You take a moment to steady your nerves before stepping out of your cell and venturing forth into the labyrinth. That is it, my dear. Good show. Keep going. See you soon, my sweet. Lydia vanishes from the viewer as you cautiously walk through the unnerving passage. The strange weight of the helmet bows your head forward uncomfortably, causing a searing pain in your temples with every jolting step from where it was forcibly attached. You grit your teeth and trudge towards the light with a grim determination. Here we go. A single lamp illuminates the corridor you find yourself in. The way back remains shrouded in an unnatural darkness the light unwilling to venture from whence you came oh can i bring the lamp you said it's a lamp so it, maybe it's an old tiny lamp that you can't move remove okay all right that's fine the corridor continues forward with similar spots of light guiding your way but you also see a left turn that seems to open up into a larger area which way do you go the Note said that venturing forward is not the easiest. So let's try to go. Let's try to go left. Let's go to the left path. You emerge into an elevated concrete area. The sound of waves crashing against the walls greets you. A thrill of hope dances down your spine as you taste the saline sea air on your lips. There's a dilapidated boat covered in rubble in the center of the courtyard, and to the north, there's a strange square structure. All around you is a wrist-high wall overlooking the beckoning waters. I've always liked the sea, so beautiful and inviting, but also so discreetly deadly. Choose carefully, my dear. Some decisions can be surprisingly volatile. <laughs> uh, okay. What would you like to do? <sighs> um, 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 um. Let's search the boat in the rubble. That's not what, what I don't want to say what's the worst that can happen because if you say that, you. You damn yourself. You search among the wreck and the rubble. The boat has a huge hole in its bottom and is completely unstable. However, you see an old fishing spear that still has its edge. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're going to take that spear. We, it might come in use. It feels heavy and you suspect it might... Wait a second. Now that I said it feels heavy, I think that the spear might weigh me down and there might be like a running sequence in here and I'm going to get caught because the spear is too heavy. Uh, well, okay, if that's one of them, that's fine. It feels heavy and you suspect that it might be awkward to wield in narrow spaces, but you feel better having some sort of weapon with you. You find a piece of old rope, tie it to the shaft 
and sling it over your shoulder okay um investigate the square structure sure as you approach the square structure you see that it has an opening you peer in and you can see steps leading downwards oh no I ain't going in there it would take a bit of clearing but you think you might be able to squeeze through no leave it no leave it leave it uh go to the wall you approach the wall slowly you steady your shaking hands by placing them on the cold concrete and lean forward to peer out over the edge there's a drop of about 20 feet than water the murky depths promise freedom from the morbid game and liberation from the psychotic gaze of the vampires. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I can do here. The crashing sound of the waves hitting the stone below offers a warning of risk, but it is one worth taking. <laughs> Let me save, because I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to jump, question mark. Take a few steps back. Breathe deeply. You can do this. You can do this. Just one leap of faith and it's over. You gaze out over the coast. Not too far. You can definitely make it. Yes. Right. You breathe out slowly. Deliberately. Then you spring forward. A few steps. Leap. Then air. We're dead. Time seems to slow. The water moves lazily back and forth. All sound is drowned out by the gusting wind. You fill your lungs. Close your eyes. Body straight, ready to hit the water. Uh-oh. What? Red flashes in your visor. Oh, God. No! Oh, God! I'm so frustrated. I, I thought I death. Death two. Turn to the last room. Okay. We did all this. Uh, turn back. We'll go back. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no, wait. We'll investigate the structure. We already did that. Let's squeeze through. You wiggle your way, and oh man, the spear is gonna get me killed in here. You wiggle your way through the debris and find yourself at the top of the stairwell. You descend carefully, keeping one of your hands to the wall to guide you down the darkness. You can feel the stairs are spiraling by the rounding of the wall. The, I'm going to get murdered in here because of this lady. The steps feel treacherously narrow as you place each foot on the hewn rock in blind faith. Faith misplaced. You let out a scream as your next step meets only air. You stand up, bruises and scrapes, but thankfully okay. You look back at the hole you just fell through and see only darkness. Your only choice is to go forward. Great. The area seems to be built like an old air raid shelter deep underground. What? A what? I'm sorry, a what? Air raid shelter deep underground. Oh no, you know how bad that is? The air smells humid and sickly sweet stench of rot perverts the air. The junction itself seems well made, but as you look to the northern route, you can see that it seems almost freshly made. The painted white walls end and are replaced with freshly hewn rocks. The jagged stone constricts the deeper it goes. You may have to crawl if you wish to venture in. Oh no! The path south leads to only darkness, whereas to the east there is a white door. Which way? Oh man, the tunnel, the white door. Let's go to tunnel, let's go to tunnel. The path north continues to dwindle. At first, it forces you to stoop, then eventually, your only choice is to crawl. The sharp edges of the rocks leave your hands bloody as you drag yourself along the barrel. Desperately seeking something ahead to herald an end to your 
torturous wraithing forward. You keep pulling yourself along until a glint of something shiny in the wall catches your eye. You lean in as far as your confines allowed to get closer to look at the biggest sapphire you've ever seen. Okay, I like sapphires, they're cute. Twinkling in the darkness, it looks to be the size of an apple with one end still embedded in the rock. It'd be worth a fortune if you made it out of here and would fit easily into your pocket. Do you want to try and pry it loose? With what, the knife, the mini knife or the spear? Um, oh, this is gonna be a death. Let's try to get the jewel. You maneuver your body so that you can place both hands on the head of the jewel. You brace your legs and back against the wall of the tunnel, ready to pull the gem out with all your might, but to your surprise, it comes away easily. However, you notice that a string runs from the bottom of the stone into the wall. Coltus, little magpie. You have just enough time to hear the thunder of falling rocks above before death. Great. I'm already finding plenty of, of deaths. Let's go return to the last room. Uh, let's leave the rock alone. Reluctantly, you avert your gaze from the tempting prize and continue to crawl forward. The tunnel tightens even further, making each inch a struggle. You pull yourself along by bloody fingertips and pushing with your toes. A sudden swoosh of hot air blows into your face, carrying that awful stench of decay from a head. Oh God, that's gotta be horrible. But you welcome it like an old friend. Wind must mean an opening. With each inch forward, you start to feel the tunnel slope downwards. I could not do this. The moment I saw that I had to start crawling into a place, I would have backed out and left. With the renowned strength that hope of an end brings, you begin making steady progress until gravity leans and assists, <laughs> and you start to slide. Ever steeper and faster, you fall until the tunnel splits you out. Spits. I meant spit, you guys. Sorry. You land with a crunch and a crackle. You scramble and try to right yourself from the rubble pool that you have been deposited in. Your eyes slowly adjust to the electric light after so long in the darkness. Oh God, no, not here, anywhere but here. Look around to examine the unstable ground you find yourself in and mound the grinning skulls and bones staring back. Startled, you fall back, pressing tightly against the walls as you stare down, eyes wide, in the horror <laughs> at the horror of such a mass pile of bleach white cadavers. Oh my god. The smell of death hangs heavily, and your mouth is filled with the taste of salt and ash. With every movement, you create an unnerving rattle of sliding bones on bone. On the other side of the bone pit, you see a corridor leading northwards, but to reach it, you must crawl over the remains of the dead. Do you ramage through the bone attempt? <laughs> Let's attempt to cross the path. Uh, you slip and fumble your way across the avalanche of death, eventually landing towards the solid ground. You get to your feet and you stare at the path ahead of you. The passage raises in a slight incline out of the bone pile and upwards towards another entrance. The floor is wet and slippery with what looks like a constant flow of blood. I just thought that was a red carpet. I would have immediately thought that was just a red carpet, but okay. Blood it is. Cool. You know, I, I, I like to walk in blood. The journey is slow going as you place each foot in hand with care. An eerie glow emits from the gaps in the wall pulsing as you make your way up. You think you see movement in the glow. Startled, 
your foot slips out on, from under you. Of course, yes, of course I fall. What the? Hello? You start to fall, the crimson current trying to pull you back to the pit, when suddenly a spectral hand latches onto your wrist. Ghosty? Hello? You get your feet back under you again and watch as the hand drift towards the glowing wall, finger crooked in the beckoning fashion. What do you do? Um, go to the bone pile, head towards the entrance, follow the hand towards the glow. Sure, let's follow the hand. Unsure and sensing a trap, you hesitate. The hand was strong enough to stop you from falling, so... Why did it simply ask you to follow it instead of dragging you? Was it too weak after taking a corporal form? Hmm. Was it a lure to something worse? Or was it one of the souls lost in this hellscape trying to help? You consider all your options but fall under the idea that if it wished you harm, it would have just let you fall. Carefully, strife to towards the glow I'm so nervous oh shake off this the nervous once there you grab a hold of one of the struts securing yourself as the hand reappears carrying a small bell it presses it onto your free hand as you touch it you hear a whisper in your mind sound the toll to call home those caught between life and death Trapped in a perpetual servitude. Release them. The final words echoed in your mind as the hand evaporates into the wall. Uh, uh head towards the entrance. So we have a bell, a spear, and a mini knife. We can do something. We can make some shape. It's slow going, but without any further incidents, you make it to the entrance. Okay, um, I wanted to go deeper and I would like to keep going deeper, but I am push for time, strut for time. And right now, I think I'm going to break this up in parts. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to continue playing this. And just so y'all don't think I'm fibbing, I'm going to save just so y'all know. Um, I've already ended up getting two or three, two or three bad ending so I mean I guess it won't be too hard to get the death <laughs> because curiosity gets to me if you guys are enjoying this please go show the creator some love and support uh, make sure you subscribe here and like I know I be asking a lot from y'all but these help not only me out but it helps the creator out and stuff if you want to play this game and you know get through it by yourself by all means I don't care I'm just can't because of my computer situation but i appreciate you guys so thank you guys so much i truly appreciate it and with all that being said peace and love stay safe out there everybody bye don't get caught in lydia's labyrinth bye